Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at um, using DAT files for our airfoils. So if you have a DAT file from like airfoils tools and stuff like that, you can insert that into Fusion 360 of your airplane. Like say if you have your the airfoil that you want to use, um, I'll show you guys how to do that. Normally my models that I show you guys how to model on this channel, I'll just use an arbitrary airfoil. I would just draw one um, and it's not scale or anything like that. Or if I do, I'll just um, um, trace it or something like that. But if you want to do it this way, um, I'll um, show you how to do that by using the DAT files from Airfoils Tools. So we'll go ahead and get started here. But if you can, hit that subscribe button too because it helps my channel grow. So let's see here. First of all, we need to install an app and um, and um, you install it through add-ins. And as you look through up here, you don't see any tabs up in up here that says anything about add-ins. So there's nothing up here. So what you do, you go to utilities and there's our add-ins. So you click add-ins and then we can go to the Fusion App Store. And here we are, the Fusion App Store. Now you want to search for the app, Airfoils. Oops. And there's Airfoils DAT to Spline. And this is what you want to download. And you just download this, this for free. It doesn't cost anything. And once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and... Um, um, download and install. Just go ahead and restart Fusion. Okay. Now, once you have uh, that installed, what you want to do next is find yourself an airfoil. So go to this site here, Airfoil uh, Tools, and they have a bunch of airfoil DAT files that you can um, download. So like this one here is an SD7037, um, pretty much used for a glider. And here we have all the coordinates that it uses. Now, what you want to do here, I've seen some people, they'll copy all of this. And um, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It just creates a little more work. Um, I find it easier just clicking this over here. Then we have the file here, then right-clicking it, and then saving this. Just go ahead and leave the name this. And then make sure you put this in here, dot D-A-T. And change this to all files. And um, I'm going to save this on my desktop and go ahead and click Save. Now that's downloaded. And we can go ahead and close all this stuff out here and back in the Fusion. Now, what we want to do here is come over back here to add-ins and click on scripts and add-ins. This pops up. Now what we want to do here is click on airfoil DAT to spline. Next, click run. Now, we have this here, and um, the cord, however long your cord you want it to be, that's from the uh, front of the airfoil to the back of the airfoil, let's say um, 100 millimeters, I'm just going to leave this 100 millimeters, but if you want to change that, you just change this over here. Now, if you notice here, you can't click OK. Now, this is a step you can't forget. It wants to know what plane you want to put this airfoil on. So I'm just going to put it on this plane. Now, now we can click OK. And you just come back over here and click OK. Now, the name of that airfoil was this here. And you click that, open, and there's our airfoil. Now, this is closed already, which is good, but... Um, let's say this was not closed, and a lot of times the airfoils are not closed, and it's most likely if it's not closed, it's because um, this 
is not close, and you would just use a linebacker. I'll demonstrate that too. Let's uh, take here, say, like um, the sketches we just did. And if this were not closed, you would come over here like this, then right click, and then click Edit Sketch. But let's do this again so I can show you what I mean by sometimes it's um, not being closed. So this sketch here, I'm just going to delete it. Okay. And we're going to do the, um, again, add another add in another airfoil. So you come up here to Utilities again. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, Add-ins. And uh, click Scripts and Add-ins. Airfoil DAT to Spline. Then click Run. Now, it's, again, it's asking what plane to put this on. So we click the plane here. And I'm going to um, leave the size the same. And then click OK. And I'm going to use this file this time. Now you see, this particular airfoil is not closed. And again, if it's not closed, it's most likely because the trailing edge is not closed. Now, some people may be tempted to create a sketch on this plane here and go ahead and close this, but what you um, do is just come over here to this sketch here, right click on it and click Edit Sketch. Then use L for line, and just close this up. And now, as you see, we have this here. And go ahead and finish sketch. Now, you can extrude this or do um, anything you want to with it. Extrude this, etc. So let's say... Um, let me go ahead and delete this again. We don't need it. Let's say we have an airplane. Um, go back to this. I want to create a sketch on this plane. Now, let's just say I'm gone. we have our little airplane here. We have this here, a shape of our airplane. I mean, this is um, corny looking, but you, yeah, yeah, I think you guys get the point here, what I'm um, doing. But um, let's say we have our wing in here. So what you want to do Let's say wing is here, um, to here. Uh, let's just make this 75. Click OK. And go ahead and finish sketch. Now, when you're modeling this and you have a picture in here, um, let me open up something so we can take a look um, a little more deeper into it. Let's go ahead and look at this Quantic. Okay. Now, this is our airfoil, um, the um, wing here. And you want to take the measurement of here to here when you put your airfoil in here. So you know um, how long the airfoil needs to be, the cord of the airfoil, and you would just do that. And um, same thing for the back here. But yeah. And, um, but that's pretty much it of showing you guys how to put in those DAT files. But like I said, there's a couple things you have to do and make sure you don't um, 
um, skip those steps, Scott, just skip the steps, then it probably won't work for you. Like, um, like I said, some people will look at this and they'll look at their dashboard at the top up here and theirs won't look like this. And just remember, you have to go under utilities because you won't see these add-ins until you go to utilities. Once you go to utilities, then you'll see the add-ins. And um, that is very important. And yeah. And then again, um, like I said, with the, the file over in the airfoil um, tools, you can um, copy and then paste. But to me, it's just easier, like I said, just um, saving the file and um, saving it, um, the coordinates and as is file and renaming it and making sure you put that dot dat in there. Don't put that dot dat after the name of your file. Then um, Fusion will not recognize it and open it. But yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this short video. Just want to show you guys how to um, add in dat airfoils so you don't have to either trace um, like I do or um, just use an arbitrary one like I do when I show you guys how to model. But yeah, that's going to um, do it for that. And once again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. Also, if you like my videos, hit that like button as well. And um, if you can, go over there and support my channel through Patreon. And it's um, CadBillFlyRC. There will be a link down below. To, um, check it out. Also, join my Facebook group called Cat Bill Fly RC. Also, and um, go over there and have a look as well. And that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.